Okay, so hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a really exciting video for you all. We're doing a chatty get ready with me, my kind of makeup routine at the moment. It's, yes, yeah, haven't done one of these in a while so I'm quite excited and I feel like I haven't sat down and chatted with you all in a while and I just felt like it to be honest and I needed to get ready anyway for my day. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. So, I have quite a basic makeup routine and I just thought why not show everyone to be honest. Also half my hair extensions have fallen out so my hair's an absolute mess. As you can see, absolutely great. But yeah, I just wanted to come and chat with you all to be honest. I don't really know, I'm feeling a bit uninspired at the moment with my channel. Obviously, YouTube is dying, let's be honest. <laughs> and I really do try guys to do TikTok but I just I find doing TikTok boring I don't know why it's because I talk too much oh my god what a what a face on me god <laughs> um, but yeah I just I felt like but you know what I'm just gonna do carry on doing my videos like I've always done and also, I don't know if you know, but I've started a true crime channel and I'm so, so, so passionate about it. I actually am, like, it's, it's my everything. I love that baby. Uh, <laughs> but I love it so much. And if you aren't subscribed, please do. A little free promo. And, yeah, so I'm hoping that'll get successful. <laughs> Just, you know, living day by day. But, yeah, anyway, first, I use my moisturiser. I use the La Roche Pose. Effa Clear, Effa Clear, yeah, Effa Clear, just anti perfections, triple, yeah, basically it's a moisturiser, sort of, like, but it, I like it, so I use it as a moisturiser, and it smells so good. Put that all over my face. I haven't had my nails done since in about a month, like, genuinely not a month. I just can't be bothered, like, it takes me ages, like, not ages, what? I can't sit there for that long and it really bugs me. Like, I don't know why. I I really struggle with my eyelashes and I always put my eyelashes off, but I feel like I really want and need my eyelashes. So, I can kind of live without nails, but I need to get them done because I've got an event this weekend in Scotland. I've never been to Scotland, I'm so excited. Because my mum's dad was from there and my mum and dad got married there. And I've never been, so yeah, my, my real granddad was Scottish. So that makes me a tiny bit Scottish. <laughs> Quarter Scottish. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to like somewhere near Glasgow. I won't get to see much of Scotland because it's more just going for the event. But I'm excited still, so yeah. And right, so I don't use foundation. Because personally, I just think it makes me look really washed out. Because I have freckles, I know like, well, you can't probably really see them that much, but in real life you can. And I just feel like it washes me out a bit. And yeah, I could draw the freckles back on, but it just doesn't look the same. So I use concealer under my eyes and like on my blemishes. I use this NARS concealer. It is amazing, honestly. Unreal. If you have like, get spots or anything, use this. So... It's called the Soft Matte Complete Concealer and I use shade Medium 2 or Ginger, shade Ginger. And I literally just use my finger, yeah I know. Don't worry, I've washed my hands. <laughs> and I just tap that on my blemishes. I know this is like really not how you'd expect a YouTuber to do their makeup, but I don't really wear like I'm not trying to be like, oh I don't wear makeup. Like trust me, I wish I wish I was really good at it but for some reason I can either do all or nothing and then when I'm doing loads of makeup I just look funny like I'm just not very good at makeup I used to be <laughs> but I don't know what's happened to be honest I think where I've got like acne scarring it just sinks in and it just does not look nice so it like I sometimes I think I look better without makeup simply because of my acne scarring because I feel like people that have scarring will know what I mean it just sits in it and it looks like oh and I've tried so many people's recommendations of different acne no like different foundations that cover it but I just can't seem to you know get along with any so this is what I do now 
I deal with my bad skin and I try cover up what I can. And yeah, back to Scotland, so I'm really excited. <laughs> but also, I don't have a passport, so it's fine, I can use my ID to go, which, thank God, otherwise I literally don't know what I'd do. So, I've got a funny story in case you don't follow me on Instagram, or you didn't see it. So, I lost my passport, yeah, um, so, I've travelled many times without my mum. <laughs> many, many times. I've travelled on a plane more times without my mum than I have with her, and I've never, ever lost my passport, ever. However... <laughs> You might see, you might have seen, that doesn't make any sense, you might have seen that I went to Amsterdam um, like just like over a month ago and basically I was with my mum and my best friend and her mum so we were on the plane on the way back with them and um, me and Katie, we had a couple of things to drink, don't get me wrong, we had don't really know why because we were on the way back from our holiday <laughs> but it was the night time and I thought Let's get started. Well, uh, I've drank before and been able to look after my own passport. Anyway, I think because my mum was there, I just completely relaxed and I just assumed, like, she would look after it. <laughs> I'm not... That sounds really, like, privileged, but she is just, like... She's like that. She just looks after things all the time. Anyway, Katie lost her bag. Well, she didn't. We thought she lost her bag. And we were looking everywhere. And I was panicking for her because it had everything in. Anyway, it turns out it had been like moved to another overhead bit ages away from where we were sitting. So we were all like in like a mess and keep in mind, I had a handbag. So a big under the seat bag and also a tiny mini handbag, okay? So, <laughs> and I had over the head thing. And basically I just grabbed my big bag and my suitcase and just walked off. And I was like, like, oh yeah, that's like, that's fine. I've got everything. Cause I never bring an extra small handbag. Like you're not even meant to. It was only just because we'd like come straight from like being going and Amsterdam and stuff. So anyway, I walk off the plane and before we get to passport control, I'm like, oh my God, um, I've left my bag on the plane. So we try and run back and get it. And then uh, this is, I didn't know I had my passport in here. I had like a portable charger in it. I didn't think, I just did not think. My mum and Laura, Katie's mum, were ahead. And um, I just did not think at all for like five seconds that my passport could be in there. <laughs> I don't know why. And then I was like, oh, I actually don't worry, like, it's not got nothing important in it, blah, blah. And then we get to passport control, and I'm like, actually, <laughs> you know that bag I left? <laughs> Has my passport in. So obviously they won't let us back on the plane. I'm freaking out thinking they're gonna deport me back to Amsterdam. My mum and Laura leave because they had been they'd gone through passport control, and um, I was just like absolutely freaking out because I honestly thought they were going to send me back. <laughs> I don't know why because I'm not a citizen of Amsterdam, but you never know. Like that's dodgy. Like someone dodgy could be coming in. Anyway, she let me through the woman because I have my UK like health insurance card for travel and I have my ID and she searched me up and I had a picture of my passport so that was good right after concealer i literally you're probably all thinking this is the worst makeup routine but it's like no makeup makeup <laughs> sort of i'll carry my story in a sec but i use the nyx matte bronzer i kind of use it as a contour more and i use the real techniques 258 flat contour brush and i just contour to be honest <laughs> anyway that's the story but they let me through anyway then they tell me to ring this number within 24 hours and I rang it literally that night and the number didn't exist so that was absolutely excellent so I kind of just said to my mum like can you just please deal with it because I don't really know what to do so my mum dealt with it she didn't hear anything and then they told her that they that passport like the actual home office no I don't really know what it is but they told her that they've cancelled my passport because we didn't like reply but the thing is the number didn't work and also my mum emailed like loads of places so anyway that was great my passport's been cancelled and then I literally wanted to cry I know there's bigger things in life to care about but right that's to be sad about small things too I've been collecting like all my stamps I'm just doing that by the way because I have really light under eyes <laughs> I've been collecting my stamps like since 2020 and that's the most I've travelled and I've I love collecting my stamps, like it's always been a thing I love. I feel like a lot of people can relate, like when you go on holiday you get a stamp. And it had all like my American ones in there and I was heartbroken. 
and they were like oh yeah we can't send it back anyway then my mum like kind of begged <laughs> they were like yeah you can have it back I was like well yeah I should have it back because it's not like it's not lost or stolen it was lost but I knew it was lost and then fair enough they cancelled it like I get that but I'm still a bit like it's just annoying isn't it and passports take so long to come and also I can't even get another passport until this one comes through the post to prove like to prove me does that make sense so that's absolutely excellent luckily I'm not going on holiday anytime soon well me and Toby wanted to go to Prague for the Christmas markets but we can't do that now because I haven't got a passport so that's excellent but oh well could be worse it's not that hard of a life is it guys <laughs> but I just thought I'd tell you all because I thought it was quite amusing that I managed to lose my passport on the plane I'm sure that happens quite often does my face look okay <laughs> yeah I'm sure it happens often now I just take this like B from Superdrug brush 404 and I put my contour as like eyeshadow <laughs> yeah I know don't ask what else have I got to tell you all let's think oh yeah it's Toby's birthday on the 14th of November um I still haven't actually sorted his present out so that's really good top girlfriend points to me I'm just not like like this time of year is so so expensive like honestly Toby's birthday then my dad's birthday then Christmas and then in January it's my baby cousin well she's not a baby she's gonna be free but it's my cousin's birthday on the like early jam and um yeah it's just an expensive couple of months to be honest so I I don't really fancy getting anyone Christmas presents I used to I used to love buying people Christmas presents <laughs> but you know oh I but I will obviously I love I love I love getting presents for people <laughs> I just really it's just oh <laughs> money you know <laughs> right so and then I contour my nose a little bit what I do is I put it like I show you I do it like oh hang on <laughs> down here and that looks a bit silly but I do it also I don't know why I've got like blood on my nose I think I like scratch myself in my sleep like that don't worry I'm gonna <laughs> gonna make it look less prominent but um, what else do I have to say I don't really know to be honest yeah oh yeah Christmas videos who would like Christmas videos I literally used to do them quite a lot but I don't really know if anyone's interested now if I'm honest but I love Christmas and I went to the fireworks last night on fireworks night and um I absolutely loved it why does my nose look so orange what we're we gonna do guys okay well it doesn't usually look like this what is going on <laughs> what is going on right hang on I'm gonna try to fix that right let's just finish the makeup and sort that at the end now I do blush and I use the P. Louise, the cheek of it, liquid blush in shade Melon Mood. I love this. It's changed my life. And I use the Spectrum A05 brush to do it. And this blush has lasted me forever. Like honestly, I bought it ages ago. I just put like loads on. It's the perfect blush colour, honestly. Guys, if you don't have this, you need it. I know there's not really much technique to my um, makeup, but I think it looks quite nice, to be honest. I'm quite happy with it. Oh god, my nose is very orange still. I will fix that, I promise. Trust the process. Some people leave it like that, don't they? I see people like that put mad amounts of blusher on. And it actually sometimes looks quite good, but I could never pull it off, ever. I feel very blushed <laughs> in real life I don't look as blushed trust me I promise and then I do my highlighter where is it okay so okay I've actually lost it this is good oh here it is I use the Becca highlighter in pearl I've used this forever and it's literally been broken forever and I refuse to buy a new one I use my, this is going to sound really gross, but I use my eyelash spoolie just because 
I feel like it just makes it more precise. Not my actual, that bit, the end of it. <laughs> Trust me, it actually is a good little hack because it does make it go on better than a brush. I know that sounds just ridiculous. But have, have a bit of faith in me here, guys. I put it in my inner corners. I don't put highlighter on my cheeks because that just doesn't look good on me, to be honest. I used to love doing that, but then my skin got quite bad, so it just looks a bit funny. My nose, do it at the top here. Make sure I get loads on because I love highlighter. And then I do it down the middle. I feel like, oh God. There we go. I, I feel cute, I feel very cute indeed. Um, that's my face pretty much done. I well, I brushed my eyelashes, obviously. <laughs> Don't want them looking a bit ratty. Oh god, I've really shaky hands. Does anyone else get really weirdly shaky hands? There we go. And then I do my lips. I need to. I always use a wipe and wipe. Oh my god, why is it? I've had my makeup done only a few times, but they never. They hardly ever wipe the foundation off my lips. And like, I'm sitting there thinking, oh no, please. What are you doing? Right. And then I'm going to use this lip liner. Oh, it's on the floor. Great. The Maybelline, no, no. Rimmel Lasting Finish Exaggerate in shade 18 Rose. Ro Rose Addiction. There you go. And I literally just line my lips, to be honest. There's nothing really interesting about it. Mwah. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, actually, I feel like my forehead isn't blended that well. <laughs> Just, you know, touching up. <laughs> oh. And then I put my lip balm on, which I don't know where it is. So that's not very helpful. I'm going to find it and put it on. Guys, I'm absolutely fuming. Fuming. A bit over the top, but I filmed the end of my video. <laughs> But I must just not have clicked record, so I didn't film the end of my video. 10 out of 10 YouTube skills. So yeah, I look rough still. <laughs> oh, I mean, most of my makeup was done, thank God. Imagine if it wasn't, I'd literally cry. I just put lip balm on <laughs> and said goodbye, basically. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. <laughs> like and subscribe. I love you.